Did you know that the Philippines has a bold plan to win the future of energy? With a rapidly growing population and increasing energy demands, the Philippines recognizes the need for a sustainable and reliable energy supply. Renewable energy is a crucial component of this plan. The Philippines is harnessing the power of wind, solar, and hydroelectricity to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels and combat climate change. The country has made significant progress in solar energy, with vast solar farms harnessing the abundant sunlight. These panels not only power homes and businesses but also contribute to reducing carbon emissions. Hydropower is another key player in the Philippines' energy master plan. With its many rivers and waterways, the country has tapped into the potential of this renewable energy source, generating clean electricity to power communities. Transportation plays a vital role in reducing emissions. The Philippines is promoting electric vehicles as a sustainable alternative to conventional cars. With charging stations popping up across the country, EVs are set to transform the transportation sector. But it's not just about generating clean energy, it's also about efficient energy distribution. The Philippines aims to develop a smarter grid that can adapt to changing energy needs and optimize consumption, ensuring a smooth and reliable energy flow for all. Beyond renewables, the Philippines is also investing in research and development. Scientists and innovators are tirelessly working to unlock new technologies and discoveries that can propel the country towards a more sustainable and energy-secure future. The Philippines is on the path towards a greener future, a future that ensures economic growth, minimizes environmental impact, and provides a better quality of life for its people. Thanks for watching our video on Powering the Future, Unveiling the Philippines Energy Master Plan. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on energy and sustainability. The Philippine Energy Plan, PEP, 2020-2040 is the second comprehensive energy blueprint supporting the government's long-term vision known as Ambition Naden 2040 Superscript 1. The PEP provides for ambitious plans, policies, and targets on renewable energy, natural gas, alternative fuels, and energy-efficient technologies Superscript 1. The PEP aims to attain an inclusive and equitable economic growth made possible through the provision of secure, sustainable, and resilient energy strategies superscript 1 to make the country's low carbon energy transformation a reality the following goals have been set for the medium to long term planning horizon superscript 1 1 35% renewable energy share in the power generation mix by 2040 2 lng importation starting 2022 3 energy consumption levels that support an accelerated economic expansion post covid 19 4 Current blending schedule for biofuels, 2% biodiesel and 10% bioethanol, maintained until 2040, 5%. 5% penetration rate of electric vehicles for road transport, motorcycles, cars, jeepneys, by 2040, the PEP also prioritizes planning and investments in transmission capacity in grid flexibility, energy efficiency and demand-side management for buildings and industries, and establishing a framework for ensuring a just energy transition superscript 2. The Department of Energy, DOE, has various programs towards facilitating energy transition, including the National Renewable Energy Program, NREP, superscript 3. The DOE's policies include the Aggressive Renewable Energy, RE, and Energy Efficiency and Conservation AC, institutionalization programs, the Moratorium on New Coal Power Projects, a mechanism allowing foreign ownership on large-scale geothermal projects under Financial and Technical Assistance Agreement or FTAA, the resumption of indigenous oil and gas exploration, the introduction of liquefied natural gas LNG, portfolio, establishment of strategic petroleum reserves, and exploration of hydrogen's potential. The PEP also prioritizes planning and investments in transmission capacity and grid flexibility, energy efficiency, and demand-side management for buildings and industries, and establishing a framework for ensuring a just energy transition to the Department of Energy, DOE, has various programs towards facilitating energy transition, including the National Renewable Energy Program, NREP, 3. The DOE's policies include the Aggressive Renewable Energy, RE, and Energy Efficiency and Conservation, AC, institutionalization programs, the Moratorium on New Coal Power Projects, a mechanism allowing foreign ownership on large-scale geothermal projects under Financial and Technical Assistance Agreement or FTAA.
The resumption of indigenous oil and gas exploration, the introduction of liquefied natural gas LNG, portfolio, establishment of strategic petroleum reserves, and exploration of hydrogen's potential, the PEP's goals and policies are aimed at securing a clean energy future for the Philippines and promoting sustainable economic growth. As the country faces a multifaceted challenge on its pandemic response programs, amidst the imposed lockdowns on economic activities, the Department of Energy, DOE, is presenting a track to attain an inclusive and equitable economic growth made possible through the provision of secure, sustainable, and resilient energy strategies. The Philippine Energy Plan, PEP, 2020-2040 is the second comprehensive energy blueprint supporting the government's long-term vision known as Ambition Naden 2040. This updated plan, like its predecessor, PEP 2018-2040, reiterates the energy sector's goal to chart a transformative direction towards attaining a clean energy future, paving the path of transition into a more sustainable and resilient energy system. The sector's direction has always been steered by Secretary Alfonso G. Cusi. This is in recognition to the message conveyed by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte of the energy sector requisites, sustainability and availability of energy to wean away from traditional sources and development of alternative ones, to carry out the President's instructions, the Energy Secretary clearly pointed the transformative changes imperative to align with the administration's call. These resulted into policies directed by the Energy Secretary and include, among others, the Aggressive Renewable Energy RE, and Energy Efficiency and Conservation AC, institutionalization programs, the moratorium on new coal power projects. A mechanism allowing foreign ownership on large-scale geothermal projects under Financial and Technical Assistance Agreement or FTAA, the resumption of indigenous oil and gas exploration, the introduction of liquefied natural gas, LNG, portfolio, establishment of strategic petroleum reserves and exploration of hydrogen's potential, having the policies in place. The Energy Secretary reaffirmed the sector's mindfulness in putting consumers first and that energy must be equitable to all Filipinos. Utilizing new technologies will also help the Philippines hit its energy goal. Buddy Bacquerel, business unit manager at Yakagawa, Philippines, discussed the use of large-scale battery storage units. One solution is to provide additional energy storage, which is a key resource that people can use when in need, he said, as stored energy can prove especially useful during times of bad weather, Kapunkel said the DOE recently finalized a draft of the energy storage system circular to spur more investor-friendly energy storage systems countrywide. Battery energy storage is considered renewable, particularly generators, she said. Once fully integrated with renewable energy, this will help to balance the grid. Another pioneering solution is from PCSE, pronounced as PS, a Yakago acquired company that allows grid operators to manage unlimited renewables and distributed energy resources while providing safe and reliable power, where essentially